for one of Minnesota's most unique destinations. Well, you don't have to be a kid to love model trains, but if you make a stop at this most magical of St. Paul places, you'll feel like a kid all over again. Located on Transfer Road, just north of University Avenue in St. Paul's Midway neighborhood, the Twin City Model Railroad Museum has been delighting visitors, young and old, for over 75 years. The museum is a nonprofit organization with the goal of entertainment and education, preserving Minnesota railroad history of the 1930s, 40s, and 50s. Whether or not you're a model train hobbyist, the Twin City Model Railroad Museum is just one of those must-see local gems. Here to tell us a bit more about it is Paul Gritzman, a member of the museum's board of directors and one of the engineers here on the railroad. First of all, Paul, who built all this and how did it get here? Well, this is primarily all built by volunteer labor and been, been at it for 30 years. Where did all the buildings and the trains come from? Well, a lot of the, a lot of the trains uh, are built by individual members. It's part of their hobby is to redo the research and reproduce things as accurate as possible. And the same thing would be true for the buildings. We had a team of build building people and they'd get the drawings, take pictures and sit down and scale them out so that we, they could all be put into the layout. So behind all of this at the museum is a model railroad club. Talk a little bit about that. Yeah, they started out in 1935, and in 1939 we were invited into the St. Paul Depot and we built a layout that was there until 1977, 78. Uh, currently we have about 125 members, and uh, there's every kind of job from administration to doing repairs and trying to keep the uh, up on the latest technology, we're always trying to add something new for people to see that come back. And that's one of the nice things about having a hobby like this is you could share it with the public. Paul, talk a little bit about your main exhibit here. I understand it's what's called O scale and it represents the Twin Cities. Basically, we've tried to capture various landmarks around Minnesota and the Twin City area. O scale primarily works with a, a, a scale of a quarter inch equals a foot. Uh, and that's kind of the Minneapolis skyline that you'll see behind me as it, as it was during the 40s and 50s. Uh, when you come on this side of the layout, we have a lot of the landmarks from St. Paul, like the Mississippi Street Roundhouse, Midway Yard, and then all the way around on the north side of the layout, we try to capture the river bluffs as if you go down towards La Crosse along the Mississippi River with the railroad tracks and the bluffs in the backgrounds. We have real fine collections of trains that were made in the 30s and 40s and 50s, a lot of them we grew up with, and uh, some of them we have pretty good sized layouts and some of them the kids can operate. So. It, it shows all the automatic accessories that everybody hoped to get under the tree for Christmas. And... and as a special treat through the holiday season, the museum presents night trains. The house lights are dimmed and the trains and scenery come alive in a dazzling array of glowing and twinkling lights. The event takes place on Saturday nights from around Thanksgiving to well into the new year. Check online for details. Well, every museum tour ends here in the gift shop, and they have some great things here too. But I understand that's not the only way folks can support the Twin City Model Railroad Museum. Tell us about that. Uh, there's really three ways that we could use help. Uh, one, we're always looking for volunteers that can help out. And uh, some people have homeless trains that are uh, in their way and they'd like to get rid of, uh, they could donate them to the museum and we could put them to good use or find somebody that needs them. And uh, we are a 501c3 organization, so your donations are tax deductible. Well, thanks for having us, Paul. I tell you, my family has been here. My son has operated the Thomas train. We love it and you will too. For directions and hours, go to our website. 
and we'll see you riding the rails.